A day like today, I mean, it's not a day for, for the sound bites, really. Um, I leave those at home, but I feel that, I feel the hand of history upon our children. I really do. And I just think we need to acknowledge that and respond to it. Now Good morning, County Commissioners. It's your friend Joe Kunzler here. Don't worry, I voted a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm here to talk strictly about the Section 106 process that uh, you guys are a concurring party in. Um, I'm real concerned about how this process, from what I've learned, um, seemingly could collapse in the next week or two and if that process collapses then um, we're going to let a demagogic group of people um, sink any mitigation conversation and I find that just absolutely disturbing as someone who's been following this outline for Coopville issue for the past I'd say eight, you know, six years um, and I really think that we do need a mitigation conversation around um, Central Woodbeak um, the current proposal on the table, I believe, is within federal law and to ADB's NHR to honor all of Coopville, and most importantly to me personally, as someone who has lobbied for this over the years, to support land use reforms previous generations failed to make after similar crises. And I have my suspicions why there are some working to undermine this, for, for getting the signed agreements not to make public statements to the press or on social media. Um, I, ultimately, this could be the only chance to get substantial and legal financial assistance on land use reform and some public information kiosk somewhere to explain all of Coopville's place on Woodby Island. I ask that you please sign the draft MOA to the Section 106 and continue to work with Kendall Campbell on a process that is more fair and equitable. And I am also not opposed to a phase two conversation of more mitigation conversation, please. Um, I'm just very concerned about what could happen if the easement money that's on the table were to go away for all the citizens in this region because I am not, I am, let me put it this way, I'm a lukewarm supporter of EB's NHR. Finally, to me, this is not about scoring points against core, it's about if we even get to have a post-core world. It's about, as Tony Blair would say, I feel the hand of history upon our shoulder in respect to this, I really do. I just think we need to acknowledge that and respond to it, and that's why I'm calling this Operation Kindle's Hands. Thank you for listening, and, and go all left. Thank you for your comments. You're welcome. Is there anybody else that wishes to make comment this morning? We'll close the public comment period. Uh, are there any response from board members? Um, I, I understand that the uh, recent conversation with Kendall is that the Navy has gotten some feedback from the folks in D.C. about some of the proposals and as well as with the SHPO office here in Washington State and in D.C. and that they're revising the draft MOA that was put forward and we'll be hearing more about how that comes about. Um, I also understand that they though they have a list of consulting parties, it's really the SHPO office and the Navy that are the, that are the mandatory signers of that. Um, not any of the, the, whether or not all the consulting parties sign on or not doesn't determine the outcome. Uh, but it is a, it's a mandated public process that they're pursuing. So thank you for sharing your thoughts. You're welcome. Are there any changes?